Game on. I know, Man United trying their best to be on what's kicking. But let's speak about the weekend's big, big game. Man City versus Liverpool. What an advert it was for the Premier League. After the final whistle at the Etihad, there was nothing to separate the two title contenders. So here's how the league table looks. Still just one point separating the northern powerhouses. So whose title is this? A lot of the neutrals are slanting towards City now, but will it be as straightforward as that? We thought we'd pit a citizen and a red against each other to hear their views. So, uh, come on, Ravi, Sharin, um, which team left the Etihad happier with a point at the weekend? So definitely it's Manchester City because they are still one point ahead. But uh, we have to uh, take it into consideration. Uh, chasing is much more easier than maintaining. So it's much more pressure on Manchester City right now compared to Liverpool at the moment. Of course, definitely it was Liverpool. You know, they were lucky to get away with with a draw. But uh, looking at the game, it was not as uh, uh, fun watching it because there was no intensity uh, like previous match deciders such as Arsenal and uh, Man United, Vera, Matikuyan and uh, Roy Keane and uh, Paul Scholes going for each other. Uh, that, that was missing in the match. Ravi, City had plenty of chances to put the game to bed, but they didn't. Do you think it could come back to haunt them? Yes, definitely. Uh, because um, uh, we can see uh, how the reaction of uh, Guardiola when Sterling's goal was disallowed due to offside. So I believe they had a lot of chance as well. Um, truly said that both teams are unlucky. Mm -hmm. Didn't uh, able to get a full point for the uh, for the game the other week. Yes, City had chances to kill the game. In, in fact, even in the first half, but uh, the players were not uh, well. It didn't go through plan as the players were not in a position to score. Well, I hope this does not uh, harm them if they lose the title because of this misses. Well, there are a lot of games to go, seven in fact, and I do hope that uh, City can capitalise on the games against them, against weaker teams. Were well, Liverpool lucky? Um, what pleased you most about their game? Uh, to be honest, first half, uh, City played very well in the game. They have the most position. But second half, uh, Liverpool taken over the overall position. And um, uh, both teams played very well. I, I guess draw is a fair result for both parties. If you see the first leg, right, it's the same results to, to uh, Liverpool had with Manchester City and now. And uh, the biggest... Uh, challenge Liverpool had this time is uh, City tried to play like a Liverpool from the wing back straight to cross in and that is where in the first half Liverpool tried to get a bit panic and we can see the back four a bit shaky in the first half but uh, they managed to take an over in the second half actually for this game. Now, do you think City has showed the title there? Could there be some twists and turns before the season ends? Yeah, definitely. We are expecting so many twists and turns to be happen because uh, we have a lot of teams from the relegation uh, battle as well, which can be a game changer mm -hmm. for these last seven games, which could be impacting on uh, Liverpool, uh, both Liverpool and Manchester City, actually. Uh, a lot of people say the ball is round and no teams is assured of winning the title now. Liverpool or Man City? Most as most people say, the league is won on the last kick of the season. Remember 19, uh, remember 2012, the Aguero goal against Queen's Park Rangers? Do you think it's still um, realistic for Liverpool to be champions? City uh, were close to their best on Sunday. Um, Liverpool weren't, but still didn't get beat. Surely it's a good sign, no? Yeah, okay. Uh, on paper, definitely, uh, every uh, City is going to be a favourite to win the title. Looking at the last seven fixtures, uh, Liverpool still need to meet Hospers and uh, Manchester United. Uh, two difficult games they have to go through compared to uh, City have uh, easier fixtures. But looking from the players' mentality, you can see from how Guardiola reacted the other day during the game, right? So it's a kind of like really, really under pressure. Uh, 
So as we said, like uh, we have the best, deadliest uh, forwards, Diaz, Mane, Salah, Jota and Firmino. I believe uh, with your scoring uh, contributions, uh, we're still able to chase the numbers. And uh, at, th at this point of time, we believe that uh, Manchester City are more focusing on uh, Champions League at this point of time. As uh, in the previous interview, Gurdjieff said, they don't counter them as a big team until they won the Champions League. Mm -hmm. So that could be a good advantage for Liverpool as uh, we are going for Codable this year. The remaining seven games. I'm talking as a fan since 69, not the pre-Arab City fan. I have been their fan, ups and downs, the, with the roller coaster of emotions. Of course, definitely, I will expect City to do some step ups. But there will be one result. They will defend the title, not win the title, to defend the title. Tell us why Man City won't win the league. Won't win the league? You mean? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, every team have a jinx team, right? So, I believe uh, in the last seven, uh, City still have to meet uh, West Ham, uh, who beat them in the first leg. Uh, and uh, we still believe in our Stevie G, Aston Villa, who able to help Liverpool to beat City or able to uh, get City to drop point at least in the last seven games. Uh, I think that is one of the things that I feel like, okay, still Liverpool's an uh, advantage on it. Earlier in the season, there were teams that were on top of the league, including Liverpool. This is the new City, not the old City. When City are on top of the league, they remain there until the end of the season. One word answer, please, Ravi. Um, if you could only win one, would it be the Champions League or the Premier League? For Liverpool, I'll go for Champions League. Definitely the Premier League. Premier League champions because they're champions of your land. European Champions League is just a league of... It's just like the FA Cup. You win, you lose. You win, you, you, when you win, you go through, when you lose, you're out of it. So, it's like the FA Cup or even the League Cup. Ravi's happy with the point. Sharin thinks Liverpool were lucky to escape the Etihad with a draw. But with seven games remaining, lots of twists and turns can happen, but both are hopeful their team can win the title. The two teams won't be in action this weekend as they play again in the FA Cup semi-final at Wembley. That promises to be a cracker. But there will be Premier League football. As many as six games coming up, with fourth place hunting North London rivals Arsenal and Tottenham both involved. And yes, Man United too, but who cares? As we keep reminding you, Watch Kicking gives you the chance to get your football voice heard. Get in touch via this email address when you see the topic of choice on our social channels if you want to be a Watch Kicking guest. Don't forget, join our Football Mad Tribe. I'll see you next time. Yeah.